everyone. It's Diane from Boho Stamper. Thanks for joining me for some paper crafting fun on a Friday. Yeah. So, I don't think I'm the only person who has a bunch of scraps. So I went through, and trust me, this is just a small sample of what I have. These are just maybe papers that were given to me as samples or uh, left over from projects or workshops that people didn't use and I had them already cut. Or these are some note cards that I had gotten from our craft store years and years and years ago. Do I have a really bad glare? I do. <clears throat> um, and I just always put them in a little box thinking, I'll get to them one day. And then there's always the little off cuts, you know, from when I cut a whole bunch of um, workshop papers and I have all these leftover little bits and they're too pretty to throw away. Well, today's the day. We either need to start using some of this stuff or tossing it. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know too that when I die cut, I tend to die cut extras. So, and, and that's a good thing and a bad thing because there are times where maybe I just need um, a thank you real quick and I might already have that die cut. But it also means it's more leftovers sitting around. So anyways, I want to try it. Ooh, and I just did I get stuck in there. Oh, I almost cut that U off of there. I want to use some of these things today. And then last week, um, every year I donate through Simon Says Stamps to the Huntington Disease Fundraiser that they they um, sponsor. And when you do that, then Simon Says Stamp sends a box of, oh boy, say that three times, of paper crafting supplies that they've gotten from their um, vendors and, you know, marketing people. And so this year, one of the things that came in my box are these connecting die cut shapes or words. And this is um, a Gemini by Crafter's Companion. And I don't have a Gemini, but I do have a cut and emboss machine. And I have a big shot and pretty much everything works with everything anymore. So lucky me. Because these are, I, I did do one, where did I put it? To see what it was going to cut out like. And I thought this might be a good thing. And we got... Congrats, proud of you. My deepest sympathy to you. And um, where'd the third one go? I they had three. Or maybe I'm mixing up with, um, I also got this little clamshell. Not sure what I'll do with that one yet. Mm -mm. Maybe it was only two. I thought there were three. And there's other things that I've already, um, set aside. Oh, I see it. I see it because it is a die cut. It's also a Gemini by Crafter's Companion die that it coordinated with a stamp set. <clears throat> and they got me because then I went in and I found the stamp set and I ordered it to go with it. But um, we got this little pretty pink posh stamp set. Lots of fun things. Oh, and this um, giant greeting stamps things that I, I can use so you know for me it's worth it I'm making a donation to a good cause and then I end up with some little little extras not that I need any more extras so anyways I thought let's use these dies I actually have a couple graduations coming up and I'm going to need some congratulation cards and I do have congratulations die cut from some of my Stampin' Up! dies in that little box there. But I thought, see this is um, some pearl, some white pearly paper. I don't know if you can see. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. So it's not a set that I typically would 
stamp directly on because I think my ink would smear. But I could maybe put some of the glimmer paper on top. And I thought that these dies, I haven't tried it yet, would be good. Maybe do the center. So let's give it a go. That's what today's gonna be. We're going to do kind of a scrap buster card making day. I have a lot of um, cards that I already have completed, usually from when I am doing my videos or um, a demo on a workshop. I'm just trying to make sure I get this centered as much as I can. Um, but they might need the inserts to them. So I have a stack of those over here, and that's been my objective this week. <clears throat> and I did get quite a lot done, actually. And then they're ready to package up for the shop. Doesn't do much good having all of the half-made cards. So I've been working pretty diligently at that this week to get those ready. So I hope you're all doing well. Staying busy and cool if it's excessively hot where you are. I might have gone a little crooked on that. So I might be able to work something out here and just trim. I don't really know how this works yet. Ooh, that's juicy. I did, I shifted my, I shifted my die there. Yeah, because the scrap stamp art tour is coming up here in a couple weekends and I really want to go to that and I'm thinking, you can go, but uh, you really don't need to buy anything because Lord knows there is enough stuff here. So let's see if I can even that up a little bit. That might be a cute card, right? Um, how do I, how do I even it? I guess I gotta put my font. Ooh, I would have been cutting off quite a lot. This might do it. That's yeah, not too much. I was gonna say I don't want to cut off too much of my my glimmer paper here because that's so pretty. Now if I line that up along one of my my score lines here, I should be able to get an even cut, right? In theory. that little paper go. Oh, I need to trim my edge now. See, it's a little crooked on the on the edges there. And I should know better when you trim. When you're going to trim, you're going to trim all four sides. Two just doesn't do it. This would be a good way to use up some of my Glimmer paper scraps, too, that I have over here. So, probably would want to pop that up a little bit. I don't really need too much of a background because I have all the glitter on my paper. Yeah, that'll that'll do. Okay, so let me grab some. Oh, 
home adhesive sheets because I think it would probably work best if I just put a panel behind each of the strips. I wonder if I should put, well, it won't be the same thickness then. That's not going to work. I was going to say, I wonder if I should die cut out another congrats and layer it behind the words to help make it the same thickness, but it wouldn't be. Decisions, decisions, and this is why things get stuck into a box and then just set aside. <laughs> It's not that hard making a decision, right? It's just paper. It's just paper. Just an inch. I think I did these on my guillotine trimmer. My guillotine. Not as noisy either. Well, it is actually because it squeaks. My little baby one. See, it does squeak. <laughs> oh, should have made a little. I'll put that in the bottom one. Okay. And then. Still a little bit too wide. Ooh, I pull my bottom my guide out. Oh, so what are you working on? Anybody doing anything fun? Is anybody else? Um, is anybody else done? That donation with Find the So Stamp. What'd you get in your box? Is it the same thing? I did also get some um, some journal making stuff was in there, you know, like some Tim Holtz. Oh yeah, there was a whole package of Tim Holtz people. Is um. What else did I get in that box? Oh, there was a, there were quite a few stamp sets, and um, oh, bottle of glue. That's always handy. And what else? I'm trying to look on the other side of my table. I did try to put some of the things away because, as I said, it's time to clean some of this stuff up. Gotta, gotta, gotta get rid of it. Use it. Quit keeping it. Right? I have a uh, watercolor online class that I had signed up for. Because I, I like watercoloring. I'm not good at it, but I like to do it. And I think I've mentioned before that you don't get any better at anything if you don't practice, right? So I got to practice. So, anyways, I did um, buy another. I, I did one once before, and I've gone to our art and education school that we have. It's not too far from here. I've I've gone to a watercolor workshop there as well. So anyways, I have all my stuff ready to go here, and um, I just figured I wanted to get some of this stuff caught up before I start on yet one more project. So, cleaning things up and getting rid of the little bits and pieces of, I just don't know what I want to use behind there. Um, the little bits and pieces of papers and stuff that, for some reason, I feel I have to keep, and I don't. Not all of them. So 
see if my strips or the foam adhesive strips might be narrow enough. Um, but I almost feel like I have to give myself permission to throw, throw those things away. And then we started our volume two of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery with Rachel and Sarah and their mom actually add some input there. And volume two is Winter and Christmas. So we started that this week. And so that means I'm on another project there. But really, I like doing my stitching in the evenings when hubby's home and after dinner when we go sit down and it's time to just sit and relax and see these are a little thick too hmm. anyways we'll put something on the television and nine times out of ten he'll doze <laughs> pretty sure you know what I mean so That's when I like to sit and stitch. You know, he he works hard all day, so if he wants to sit and fall asleep in front of the television, that's his choice, you know. I'm not going to ruin it, so I just sit and work on my stitching then. That's my... Yep, works out just fine. I would say that the only bad thing about using up scraps like this is it probably is a little more time consuming because we're working with I know I keep pausing I'm sorry <laughs> trying to concentrate on sticking these things down and talk at the same time um, we are working with things that are already cut you know so we have to adapt that to or card size or whatever it is we're trying to do so I would say working with scraps is a little bit harder than than just starting out fresh but that's how we end up with scraps because then we have all these little off cuts that we didn't use on our project the paper is too pretty you know you don't want to throw it away there's nothing wrong with it Trying to think too. You know what? I might put these on. You know what? I should have just cut the whole thing on a foam adhesive sheet. I'm I'm a ding dong. Jeez, that would have been like way easier just to put my whole glimmer paper on a foam adhesive sheet and die cut it. It would work. We'll do that. Let me get this one put together real quick here. Yeah, real quick, she says that she's been working on it for, what, half an hour? No, not quite. Long enough. My goodness. The strips are okay, too, because you can kind of bend them a little bit. Let's see. Let me get one in here. Oh, anything happening over the weekend here? Just as everybody's enjoying the nice outside after the holiday weekend. I think this weekend is quiet around here. Next weekend, um, next week actually, I told my husband, you know, I go for days and days and there's not anything. I don't have plans to do anything, go anywhere. And then all of a sudden, like four days in a row, there's something to do. Well, that'd be kind of cute. Except that I can see the foam tape behind my C. Um, yeah, so we have, well, some of the stuff is with a group of girls that we get together and try to Go do a few things, you know, maybe stuff that hubby wouldn't necessarily be interested in or, or their guys might not be interested in. So we have, um, there's a group of us that are going to go see Marshall Tucker. 
Anybody in that age group? That one's going to be fun. So we have that coming up in a couple weeks here. And then, of course, the scrap stamp art tour, which hub, hubby obviously isn't going to be interested in at all. He He's very kind, and he takes me because... Actually, that's really cute. Uh, anyways, oh, sorry. So he actually will drive me there because it's in Monroeville, which isn't that far from here. And I don't mind driving down around the Pittsburgh area. Unfortunately, there is this one area going to Monroeville where the roads make me very nervous. They all come together very close. I always feel like no matter which way I turn, somebody's going to run into me. And I tend to get a little stressed out driving there. Who's this? Oh, there it is. Um, so he's always very kind every year and offers to take me. And then he'll just go do whatever, you know, because there are other things around the area. Or he'll just wait. He has no problem waiting, which I think is kind of nice. How about Granny Apple Green? Looks like we'll go pretty on that. Yeah, so he'll take me there, and um, what else are we doing? We have an evening in the garden with the girls. One of our local greenhouses every year has a really nice garden party, and they'll have music and food and wine and some pretty plants that they gift to, to the people who have come. And yeah, so it's really, I've, I've gone before, I've taken my daughter-in-law. She's not able to go this year, which makes me a little sad. And you know, them with um, the last couple years not doing a lot of things. I think they did have it last year, but we didn't go. And I think it turned out to be a good thing because I think it was a very rainy event. So anyways, this year I'm kind of excited that we're going to head back there for that. Hey, there you go. That'll be a cute graduation card. I like it. Simple and to the point, and it works. Yes. And, whoop, and that's a little bit of scrap busting. What if I use some of these little bits of paper and do a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a collage type? Oh, and then what else do we have? I know I have a lot of stuff on the calendar just in a few days, and now I can't even think of what they are. Um, this is the wrong thing. Okay. I don't want to lose that in the die. Um, hmm. Oh, dinner club with my, yeah, the girls that I go to, I went to school with. Yeah, the girls I go to school with, sure thing. We're a little past that. Oh, see, those will go together good. All right, let's do one here. Let's just find one of these. Hmm, not necessarily the best of colors with that. What is this? See, these are 
these are papers that have a little texture to them and like I said they're something that maybe I would not necessarily stamp on the paper's pretty I think that's out of an old scrapbook um, pack Oh, that's prettier. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad either. Am I like way off camera? I had moved my light. trying to make this um, a little bit brighter and I don't know I just don't seem to be getting this set up right yeah so we'll have dinner club anyways the girls that I uh, went to school with we try to meet every once in a while and just get together for drinks and dinner and see how everybody's doing and it's always a fun Time. These girls are great. I think I like those ones the best. Yep. Dinner. Uh, let me see. When is it? Thursday. Friday might be the garden party, and I think I'm gonna. How about celebrate? Now, this is another one of those ones that I messed up. I should have done this just directly on sticky paper. That was sort of silly. I think that's why I left it in here. And I'm trying to think the best way to do it. You know what? I might put glue on the back of each of the letters, stick it onto the card, And then pick the the outside paper off of it. You guys are probably watching this today thinking, what is she doing? Because, oh, uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm trying. I'm just going to say, is this messed up? Because she's not even finishing a sentence. I know. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those days. I'm actually working in pain today, too, so. Got to give me a little bit of a break there. You know, I told you about our older dog, Tammy. She's having some rougher days here. She's 14 and her legs don't work quite as well as they used to and she needs a lot of help getting uh, up and down. And that is happening more and more. So to get her on her, um, onto her chair or up on the bed or whatever, really is taking a toll on my back. She wanted up on the couch with me earlier this morning, so I got her up there 
And she's not a light dog, let me tell you. She's a big girl. And no sooner did I sit down beside her and started to read the news, and she jumped down off the couch. I was like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, my back's so sore, and I just got you up here. But she wanted back down, and that was the end of that. And then about 10 minutes later, of course, she wanted me to pick her back up. I was like, no way, little girl. You would just lay right down here on the floor beside me because, oh, because Mama's back is done. Yeah, that one would have been much easier, too, if I would have done that right on an adhesive sheet. We've done this before in a workshop where we use these and just, um, actually, I, I think we use squares and just layer the squares up. Oh, that has words on it. I have to go right side up with the words. And, um, oh, yeah, I tied a little twine around them. Maybe I'll just grab a piece of twine. my little trimmer right there I forgot twine twine oh this isn't the right shade of blue oh, there's a dark one I was gonna say I'll have to get my tray of twines out but you know what I think that one's gonna work a lighter teal color Do you guys keep all of your little papers like this? Or am I absolutely alone making this mess? I don't... I don't want to say that I'm... Um, cheap or anything but you know we pay a lot of money for the craft supplies so keeping the little bits and pieces really that are pretty you know I don't know that it's being cheap it's being frugal I think making the most of our supplies using using supplies that we have instead of running out and buying new stuff all the time <clears throat> you know we've probably been an advocate of that since I started my YouTube channel here you know use what you have and don't think that we have to run out and buy more 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 and more more is not always a good thing yes no yes
You know, like we have these other little scrapbook papers. Oh, well, that, that flower that I'm using is from there too. And look, there's like a little butterfly. There's a bee on one. They're just too pretty to throw in the garbage and then later on be making a card and say, oh, I wish I had a bumblebee. I did have a couple of cards that were not anything special. I wasn't real happy with the way they had turned out, so I pulled off my, I pulled off all the little elements and threw the part away I didn't like, cut off the cardstock that I could repurpose. And so I don't, I don't know that that's being cheap. Is just using, using things up. Trying to think of what I'm going to put on the inside of this one. And oh, look at my little um, matte dots. I should match. Yay! Win win there. What can we make on the inside of that one? I'll have to set that in my done pile for an insert. So that's been about a half an hour. Maybe I could do one more here on camera. Um, oh yeah, see we have all these little sentiment strips. I think these might have come in my last year's box. So happy for you, happiness is the best makeup. Choose happy, 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 happy birthday, sending happy thoughts, such a happy occasion. And look at that, I haven't even used ink. Is that crazy? This is using up paper scraps. Let's see, here's another one of those note cards. I thought I don't even see anything pink here, so that might have been a bad choice. That one has a little bit more pink to it. You know what? There's a pink happy birthday in here. I know there is because I just put it together. Just trying to see. It's kind of an orchidy. And there's also this is kind of a um. um might work better. A little bit stuck in here that doesn't want to go away. There we go. It's a little crooked. I didn't even cut that one. These were ready mades. Um, yeah, when our craft store was closing and there were a lot of things, I don't know where my bone folders are all at, they had a lot of things that they were uh, discounting and there again, you know, adding supplies that really I could have probably done without. Mm -hmm.
maybe. This actually brings out that little bit of darker, I don't know if you can see a little bit of dark trim around that flower, the outline. No, I think I like it better this way. Using up those scraps. Get it done. I'm trying to make an even border here and here. make it look a little more uniform. <sighs> I'm hold that up. I don't know if I like that happy birthday on there. Let's use one of our labels and stamp a happy birthday. How's that? depend on <clears throat> these are stamp sets that I keep out from stamping up that have a lot of just fonts and greetings on them perfect sets to have for when you're doing something like this so I have like sympathy birthday special occasion this ornate thanks is all different ways to say thank you um, birthday, sympathy, thank you, congratulations, same thing, birthday, congratulations. Yeah, so having a couple of those sets just on hand really does make, make things easier. This probably is, I'm going to guess that... Lovely lipstick, maybe? see how this happy birthday looks on here. Oh, goodness. Twist my back around there a little bit. Not a good thing today. I've taken Tylenol a couple times. I don't want to go overboard with that because, you know, then you kind of don't feel too good in the tummy afterwards. Really, really need a little break on my back. I wasn't sure I was even going to be able to sit up here in these chairs today and do a video. So I guess I'm happy I got that far. Get that ink handy so I can do my insert. I may as well just do it while I'm at it because I am trying to get these it's all done to add. Okay, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. My little things keep falling out of here. Someone special. What's that say? 
Oh, thanks for brightening my day. Let's have another one. Where'd it go? For someone who is wonderful in each and every way. Where is it? There it is. I was gonna say I, I know I've used this. Oh, I did that crooked. Oh, and you know what? It's not going to fit in there anyways. I forgot. These are, these are not. I'm going to set that one over here for a different card. These were those pre-cut note cards, huh? Yeah. So this is, goodness, what is this? This is four by six. Four by six? Oh, that one's very vanilla. I was just going to say I have a trap there, but I don't. Okay. Four by six. Three and three quarters. By five and three quarters. And I will double check and make sure that that's going to look okay inside. Yep. Okay. Well, that was a, a weird thing. I forgot all about that being a different size. So maybe we can stamp it straight this time anyway. goobers down there. No goobers. And my chamois set aside. I was going to take them over and scrub them today. No goobers. No goobers. Well, this sounds like it. Now shut. There we go. And I don't want it to dry out. Okay, so let's put this on the inside and we can put our and I gotta say with that, it's kind of telling me that maybe that's enough wrap busting for today because I almost just ruined that piece of paper too. Let's add that. It's weird I could sit here all day with just this stack of scrap paper in front of me and keep going because it's just so much. And even making three cards I didn't Put a dent. What 
a dent. I still have stacks of paper here. Oh my goodness. All right, let me put a couple of little bling blings on this one. What can we add to that? I have all my little scrap papers here because I was ink blending. Okay, so we need something a little bit, oh, you know what, let's see if I have anything in my, this is all of the old little bits and pieces. And you know what, that red, I know it's red, but it almost, oh, it does look pretty with that. That's not bad. I like that one. Well, we got a couple done here. Just doing some scrap cutting and using leftover bits and pieces from cards. No specifics today, so I apologize for that. You know, just... Trying to use them up. So Monday, join me and I'm going to begin using, I think some of the Christmas stamps from the new mini catalog. I have, oh. Well, we have these guys. Oops, I just passed them. Aren't they adorable? Now, there aren't dyes with this set, so it's going to take some coloring. So it's either going to be that one, or I had an idea for this set. Peace to you. And I did get this one, so I think I might start working on this because I also want to use this in our upcoming workshop on the 21st. And if anybody's interested in your local and you want to come and make Christmas cards on the 21st, um, just drop me an email and I'll make sure that I have all of your papers and stuff cut out for you ready to go. So until Monday, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for hopping on and trying to use up some of these scraps with me. Like I said, I think I could be here for the next few days and still never get through. I don't think I made a dent. <laughs> okay, everyone. See you next week. Thanks. Bye.